Hello, everybody. It is I, everyone's favorite supervillain, Invator Sim. I have been known as one of the most darkest Nickelodeon characters for 23 years. However, there was one arch enemy who was trying his best to have everyone believe him about my identity. Dib, the one and true hero who always fails because of me. Because what choice did I have but to make him look crazy so no one would believe him? But before all that happened, I came to visit two emperors who were very annoyed with me for some reason. And they brought me a robot, which is, let's just say, a goofball. So, the robot and I have landed on Earth, and we've turned our ship into a house with robotic parents. However, as a villain, I felt like whenever humans enjoy the foods that I'm violently allergic to, which you can say, I thought, man, it must be nice being human and a good guy. <laughs> My share, Zim. As fellow bad guys, we've all felt what you're feeling, and we've come to terms with it. Really? Right here. I am Joke, Black Spy. I am bad guy. Hi, Hi Joke. Joke! Hi, Joke. I relate to you, Sim. When I hit the bottom, I was crushing man's skull like sparrow egg between my hands. Ooh. And I think, and so does my mother, why do you have to be so bad, Joke? Why can't you be more like good guy? Then, I have a moment to clarify. If Joke is bad guy, who will crush men's skull like sparrow eggs between hands? And I say, you are bad guy. Whenever you use your weapon to shoot people, but that doesn't mean you are bad guy. <laughs> right, I'm sorry. You lost me there. I am the Grinch, and I am the bad guy. Hi, Grinch. Grinch. Hello, Grinch. Well, joke is saying labels do not make you happy. Good, bad, they're all different things. You must not hate yourself. You must love you. Yeah, it's what's inside here that counts. <laughs> okay, all right. I get you. Now quit the, with the laughing. It's really creepy. Question, Zim. We've been asking you to be at the supervillain meeting for years now. And today, you finally show up. Why is that? Oh, I don't know. I just felt like coming. I suppose it has something to do with the fact that, uh, well, today is the late 23rd anniversary of my show. Well, congratulations, Sim. Why, thanks, Krampus. Um, it's Krampus, actually. Right, right, right. right. Got it. But here's the thing. Since Dib won't give up his chance to prove everyone wrong about me, I don't want to be a bad guy anymore, and I want to be human, a real human, instead of being an alien disguised as one. Oh, oh man! Why, I cannot believe what I'm hearing. Are you serious? You cannot mess with the program, Zim. You're not going rogue, are you? What, rogue? No, I'm not going rogue. I mean, come on, everyone. Is it rogue to transform into a human instead of dressing up like a human? Is it turbo to be immune to the food that I'm violently allergic to? Is it completely rogue to be part of a real family every once in a while? Yes, 
But you do have a valid point. Being alone can be a very sad thing sometimes. Oh. Listen, Zim, we get it. But we cannot change who we are. The sooner you accept that, the better off your life and your show will be. Hey, one show at a time, Zim. Now let's close out the bad guy affirmation. I am bad. And that's good. I will never be good. And that's not bad. There's no one I'd rather be than me. Okay, gang. See you all next week. Listen, I cannot do snacks for one month. Hang in there, Zim. Grinch, don't forget your mouth. Oh, sorry. There you go. Halt, sir. Oh, for Pete's sake. Why? Oh. Who do you think you are? I am a perfect security guard doing a bunch of security stuff. How is any of this random? You always stop me. Just during my job, sir. Name? What's it to ya? Name? Invator Zim. Where are you coming from? Uh, Lucifer's Revenge. You didn't bring any fruit with you, did you? No, 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 not at all. Good. You may pass. Seeger, I told you the meeting would go well. What do you say we go home? Why, certainly, Master. Name? Ah! Girl, are you seeing this? What? They're having the late 23rd anniversary of our show without us! Wait a second. Popeye? They invited Popeye. That spinach-eating captain isn't even from this show! Mm. Oh, who could that be? I bet that's Scooby-Doo. Late as always. I'll get it. Greetings! It's Zim! <laughs> Who wrecked the party? If anyone needs me, I'll be hiding over there! <laughs> Dip, you have to get r rid of him. Uh, I'll see what I can do, everyone. Uh, I'll just be patient. Zim, uh, what are you doing here? I just came here to see you, seeing how, uh, today is the, uh, you know, 23rd anniversary of our show. The late 23rd anniversary, to be specific, since uh, our anniversary was three months ago. Well, you came here to congratulate the, the, our show. Hmm. Yes, I did. Well, uh, I mean... I sorry for not inviting you. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. Hey, Dib. They were about to, uh, bring in the cake. Hello, Garfield. Zim. Well, I, I suppose you wouldn't mind if you... Hello, everybody! Why is he here? Well, this is my show. I mean, my name is on this title, as you can see. Um, why are you here a little more? Uh, why don't we just change the subject? Uh, today is the t late 23rd anniversary of Zim's show, and we appreciate it if we start, uh, doing something meaningful for all of us. Including Zim and his robot, Gur. Oh! Oh! Hmm. I says. Okay. Well then, in that case, let's, uh. Hmm. Let's all celebrate. Thank you. Thank you.
Gary, my boy, we are going to need a new plot device. Affirmative, sir. But where can we possibly get a new plot device? We are going to make our own plot device that could possibly prevent Div from ever trying to reveal our identity ever again. Sir, yes, sir. And cut. That was great. Now, uh, everyone take five. Oh, hello there, Zim. Hey, Roland. I'm guessing you're feeling a little bit blue of Dim always trying to find a way to win his own victory. Yes, I am. <gasps> it's just... I hate it when Dib tries and tries his best to reveal the truth about me on every set of every episode that we make. Zim, Zim, Zim. Listen, from my experience, sometimes a villain may lose, and sometimes a hero might lose. But what's really important is that no matter what happens, you will always be the best villain there is. And no matter what happens, Div will always be the best hero there is too. Being the best rivals is the best thing you and Div both have in common. And we are who we are. And we're always here for each other, no matter what. And that's all that matters. You know, I actually feel a lot better now. Thanks, Roland. No problem. Hello there. I am Darth Vader. A Sith Lord. And I am a bad guy. Hi, Vader. Greetings, Lord Vader. Once, I was Anakin Skywalker, the apprentice of Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Then, when I have sensed that Padme was going to die at childbirth, I was desperate to find a way for her to stop dying from childbirth. Luckily, Palpatine would help me with my problems. But then I realized that he used me to betray the Jedi. After I've discovered that I had a son named Luke Skywalker, then the princess I've met has turned out to be my own daughter, Princess Leia. So. I've sacrificed myself to save my son from my own so-called master, Padme. Then I revealed my own face once, and then I died. So, ask yourself this. Would you rather be a Jedi or a Sith Lord? Very poetic, Vader. Now then, would anyone like to go next? It is I, Invader Zim. And I am a bad guy. Hi, Hi Zim. Zim. From what I've learned from Roland RG402 Space Gecko, it's that no matter what happens, I will always be the best villain there is. And no matter what happens to Dib, he would be the best hero there is. Even if he fails his attempt to reveal my true discovery of an identity. So, I have decided one show at a time. So, here's my question. Would you rather give up your chance as who you are? Or, would you rather change who you are? And the answer is neither. 
You will always be who you are. And we are who we are. And we're always here for each other, no matter what. That's all that matters.